Dude. Uh, <laughs> it's that guy again. It's the bored looking guy, but his head's in an even more incredible position. Like, that is amazing. Let's get a better shot. There's like white things in the way though. Bruh. Can I go down here? Impossible. Impossible. Hey, files. My favorite. Documentos, Billy's dreams. Hey, uh, Cindy, another interesting conversation with Billy this morning. He says he's been talking to Dr. Vernick again for his therapy in the white place. I'm disturbed by the fact that his delusions have only gotten worse with medication, which isn't in the literature for benzodiazepine. In any case, his dead doctor friend is filling his head with more German folklore. <laughs> Apparently the only thing they can kill the only thing that can kill the wall rider are vampiric butterflies vomited from a demon called Horoshki. Horoshki. I don't actually know if you say that like that, do you? Horoshki. The, the CZ, is that a sh sound? I don't know. The butterflies suck the breath from people's lips and drink blood from their nipples. They can also take the form of emaciated upright pigs or sick dogs. So Billy's got that going for him. I don't know why I know what that means. Billy's got that going for him. Got what going for him? Uh, you'd mentioned Billy talking about his mother's tattoos before. Are any of them chance by chance tattoos of the butterflies? Next time I get outside of the Murkoff firewall, I'm going to look online and see if there's any actual basis in German folklore, or if Billy's making this garbage up from whole cloth. Would love to compare notes sometime. Wouldn't mind doing it over a glass of wine. Gets lonely up here in two. Kurt. What a sly dog. Uh, wait. Really? What, the whole crawl was just to get that? Are you having a laugh? Really? Not. At least give me an achievement. <laughs> At least give me something like, you know, ventilation explorer. Something, I don't know. Vent venting. Vent your anchor or something like that. I don't know. Vent. Vented. See, he's still out there, so it's like, that was just Nout. Nout, good. Literally. He's gone. No.
No. Don't slam it, dude. like, it's... <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, I might as well just go while I'm here, frankly. <laughs> Sam. Let's wash your hands. Wait. Where am I supposed to go? Can't peek through this bit. Me and my invisible head looking over. I don't even know what I have to do now. Do I have to go upstairs still? But. Annoying with a one shot kill enemy. Wait a minute. These are literally all the places to go, aren't they? Wait, can I like push that guy out of the way? Should I try that? <laughs> Push those off. I just like get rid of him. Is that what I have to do? Oh, right then. Derp. Derp. Make sure to keep recording. Yes, I'm supposed to tell you the key to the house of God is in the theater. Behind the light. In the theater. Behind the light. You have to see the movie. So that's where I left the card. Hey. I need your help. Where are you? Yes, coming. I'm coming. Guess it's in the recreation hall. The get wrecked creation hall. Or I just follow. single path that there probably is. Um. Oh, this looks like a theatre. It's all fancy and shit. <laughs> probably the back of a theatre. No, it's not. Oh, I can go across. Oh, I was just going <laughs> to get go back to the same point. La -da -da -da. What time is it? Ouchie douch. Oopsie doopsie daisies. Can I go round here? Why would you stop playing and then look at me like that? You're trying to creep me out? You're trying to scare me? More batteries, that's what I like. 
is truly the path of God. Imagine bringing along a camera with fucking AA batteries to do a journalistic thing. That's like the worst idea ever. But, uh. Morphogenic engine. Let's record this all like shaking and stuff, like it's the worst possible recording, like in a movie, and they're just like. Mm. This is like, this is how you do cool filmmaking. Not the best film I've ever seen. What the hell is in front of me? Gateway into your mind. Just a Herzog film? Like, what's this? This amount of silence. The Bavarian way of thinking is. Total nihilism. That was like, I don't know why the accent went shit. <laughs> it went totally off. I can't do his accent. Don't know how it sucks, that is. The jungle is not beautiful, it is deadly madness. Deadly madness. Nature is only death. Um, okay. So I guess it was that door there. What did he say? Oh, behind the lights, right. Confidential. Wait, I didn't read his. I didn't read this guy's thought. The Vernick exit interview. The man sounds like Doctor Strangelove's anemic brother. Does he though? <laughs> Does he though? Is that like the one German doctor you <laughs> from cinema that you remember? Is that why you said it? It's a twenty-five-year-old audio recording. Twenty-five-year-old. Oh, right, but that was way after the war. Interview with this Dr. Vernick. Los Alamos means government work. Vernick talks about spontaneous bleeding, tumors, psychosomatic reactions, insufficiently disturbed people. Seems to walk a fine line between science and Nazi mysticism. Does it? Uh, only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine, the morphogenic engine. The engine, the movie they're projecting gets in my head like a song you can't stop humming, does it? I blink and see Rorschach tests that look like swarmy insects and infected surgery wounds. You see, it'd be cool if they actually did that in the game. <laughs> like, why not have me experience that? Why cheap out and just do this? The patients talk about using the engine to conjure the wall riding. 
the wall rider, sorry. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. Okay. Okay. Uh, necrotizing fasciitis. Fasciitis. Uh, flesh eating bacteria. Wash those hands regularly. Really, I fucking cry. Right, okay. Don't really know what that has to do with anything, but. Stir behind the lights. Behind the lights. Personally, I think the guy in that video was just projecting. I can't even interact with it again. Uh, where is I na go? Do best. Wait. What's he running away from, huh? Also, where did he come from? <laughs> did he do this? Shimmy mal Malarkey. This is not the easiest way of getting. How would you even like turn a corner like that? Wouldn't you just fall? Oof. Don't know where the camera went, but at least I've still got it. Find Father Martin on the third floor, finally! Fucking finally! Fucking, why was that door open now? <laughs> why? Why? Who you call? Where am I going? They'll never find me in here. So far it's worked. Perfectly. Oh yeah, there was that fat bastard, don't know. I forgot about that. Oh well. Father, Father Martin, please. Let me in, let me in. Seriously? Lot seriously then? Uh, ah, the one door that works. Ooh, ooh, creepy music. There he is, my old friend. Oh no, it's not. It's, oh, it is. That is that guy I've seen a million times. Oh my god, he's got no face. How is he breathing? Remain a mystery to science forever. I wouldn't pray to the television, it's uh, 
full of absolute shit. Okay, no, it's static prayer. The static again, a patient knelt in prayer. Maybe he thought Father Martin's li maybe he bought Father Martin's line of bullshit. Maybe he hears what I hear, but more clearly, maybe it's his way of it, out of this place. The priest called it the Gospel of Sand. Well, chuck it in the bin. Uh, of course. Church organ. Why not strike every other cliche <laughs> you can while well, flailing around in the writing department? Okay, <laughs> let's get somewhere. This is like strenuous work, man. Just to get to this guy. It's like. Imagine inviting someone somewhere and then making them do all this. A bit rude. Where the fuck do I go? <laughs> right. Uh, doesn't really. I don't. Uh, Fucking kick the door open. That's the one place, though, isn't it? So. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Pretty sure it is. Oh. Well. This is like pure Silent Hill experience. All the doors. Wait a minute. I didn't go through this one, did I? Oh, is this the guy with the TV, though? Maybe yes, maybe no. Where the hell am I? Nobody will know! You got a battery, mate, have you? Because I really fucking need one. For me camera. Somehow it keeps working, keeps recording. Even when it's out of batteries. That's the biggest, that's the scariest thing in this. The technology behind this fucking... Camera, okay. Hmm. Right, where do I go? Because. I guess I can. Maybe can I get rid of that bent thing? Grid grating. I haven't been able to thus far, but. No, apparently not. Hmm. Um. Um, do you... well, there's not even anything to do up here, is there? What? No, I didn't tell you to do that. Am I a fool? Like, I actually, what am I supposed to do up there? Oh fuck, I'm stuck. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> Please don't, don't uh, pull a hollow on me. Do I have to like knock it, knock it through or something? Like, isn't it just that? Doesn't really take me anywhere anyway, does it? Oh, let me let me in. What do I do? Can I talk to you. Do you have anything insightful to uh, say with your lack of mouth? I've already been through it, right? There isn't anything. Like this is, look, it's highlighted for me, right? But do I maybe go on... <laughs> Come on, can I go up here maybe? No. Like... I am... So smart. S M T. I mean S M A R T. Where? Why am I so lost? I'm literally running around. 
like a headless chicken. And I need the toilet desperately, so I'm actually going to call it here. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next one. Ooh. Okay, hello and welcome back. Although it might be in the same video. <laughs> um, in which case, I'm not welcoming you anywhere. So, we're back in Outlast. And we're still trying to find Father Further Merton. Father Merton, I believe. And I got quite stuck last time, so... Oh, you can just run straight through doors. I didn't realise that. A tape. Oh, it's a playing card. Ace of spades. A ace of spades. Wait, could I get down here before? Yeah, I think I could, didn't I? <laughs> I do recognize this. Wait, I didn't do this before. <laughs> oh, I did see him though, but I don't think I saw the praying guy. I guess I missed the, uh, the gap. Like a complete wally. Let's go the right way through the door. Uh, hello. Sorry to disturb you. Damn it. So we can't just, like, run through the glass door. <laughs> that would be... comedic. To avoid contamination. Kind of contamination, hmm? No batteries in the toilet. Gosh darn it. This is an open door and I can't see. Hello. Man with his brain outside of his head. Oh shit, they're everywhere. Got any uh, batteries on you? Sorry to bother you, but uh, it's getting pretty dire. It was close. Oh, thought it was letting me sit down. <laughs> thought it was a different command. Blimey, they all open. But nothing of interest. Oh shit, I guess I can go through there, maybe? But I don't know if... Oop. That's the best way. Let's do some... Hey, here we go, you see, you're always rewarded in Outlast. The Gospel of Judas. I am an unworthy supplicant who can serve our Lord only by feeding our Lord. Please take me, Wool Rider. Let my shepherd, shepherd's apostle see it and spread it with his lies for a greater truth. Your time upon the world has come. My flesh longs for your beautiful wrath. A wraith. Beautiful wraith. I don't know what quite that means. My blood is filled with you and waiting to be set free. This is my prayer. Write your gospel in my flesh. Ooh, seductive words there. And in a confidential file too. Not confidential enough. My little green friend. Uh. A dark corridor. Damn it, it's blocked. Nothing of interest? It's too bad. 
Yes. The batteries. Of course. Right, let's go out the window. <laughs> And with a simple contextual move command, we will shimmy across. Uh, like, my character cannot know where he's going. Like, meet me on the third floor and he's like shimmying around the side of the building and stuff. Like, God hates sickness. Or it says slackers for a second. But God loves slackers. Uh, God hates money. Not my God. God always provides a way. Dudes. You are one ugly motherfucker. This isn't that a nice little church that you've got on the third fucking floor? My job. You alone shall escape the Talva. By job. Oh, my job, it said. I thought it said by Job. <laughs> the promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. And, and here it is. You will watch and record my death, my resurrection. And together we will be free. Okay. You are no longer in danger. If you fix it will take you to freedom. We will all of us be Thanks. He's a good engineer in his time. Let's not record it. <laughs> Elevator will take you to the main exit. Sure it will. That's what you said countless times. Oof. Oh, nice little texture change. The Devils. Burning scene in The Devils. Which is a cool film. A British classic. Let's see, do these guys let me go? That would be a change of pace. They did. Though I feel like with him dead, they probably can do whatever they want now. <laughs> One last air duct to, cl to crawl through. Oh, it's you. Oh no! Hey, we've done it. Wait, what? Oh my god, I just like, threw up in my mouth.